So, last night I had a dream where the guy who's responsible for the webcomic VG Cats, he made this like online game that basically centered around people making Sonic fan characters and then, I don't know, there was something involving lewd artwork. And then I woke up with the thought in my head that kids enjoy Easter because the festivities are eggshell hunt. I wish I were making that up. Hello everyone, I'm Tessellating Hexagons, back from a week off if you're watching this video when it goes up, because this is Sly Cooper, and um, I had to take some time off because Eurovision. Can I, can I stand on this? I can. Okay, well then let's ride the poop soup gloopy shoop noop to the boss, which is a rhythm game. I remember this from the Let's Play that scene before. That is not, that is not launching yourself using pressure. That was too slow motion to be pressure. Yes, dance deadlily. I remember this. I don't remember the specifics though. I remember it being possibly bullshit. Hmm. I could feel that Cooper vibe coming. Most distastefully bad juju. Yeah, well, you give me the creeps too, lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, Sly. I see your mouth a moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Well, if Jaws need to flop, She cute. I bet I'm gonna need to concentrate hardcore for this. Oh, okay. I don't remember this. Good thing. Hang on. Good thing that I have the uh, the the gold thing going on here because otherwise I would suffer big time, styly. Because I'm probably gonna lose both of those on the very first attempt of this boss, and then have to do the whole thing on one hit anyway, just like last time. You can't touch me. I could touch you though. Look at me touching you. Come back here. You can't run away forever. Quite true. Quite true. Why don't I have my servant chumly escort you over here? Alright, what's the catch? Oh, not much. Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. What do you mean? Well, I'll unleash my mighty mojo magic upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, you'll get set. <laughs> A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. That's better than what I remember this being. Wow. That sucks. Good, I guess. Except I took two damages there because it didn't register. Like, that happened twice. I, I am very salty about this. Okay, do we have more? Am I going to suffer? See? It didn't register. I pressed the button. I object to this. This is going to take some time, isn't it? <laughs> And it ignored me again. Fun times.
Is this the final phase? Am I going to do it on my last possible life? Because this sucks big time, Styly. My god. I pressed it. His animations take so long for him to recover from that if you do it with the right rhythm, there is a chance that it'll just ignore the last input that you pressed. Which means that, like, I could press square, circle, square, but if he takes too long to recover from the circle, then he won't react to the square in time, even though I pressed the button. This boss is so majestically bullshit. Like, it's a nice idea, but the execution is very, very lacking. And there is a checkpoint, but it's at the start of the rhythm section, so if I fuck up even once, I have to start the whole thing over. I left partway through to try and grind up some health in Raleigh's hideout of all places, and even that wasn't enough. It's given me pity health. That isn't enough because the rhythm of this thing is terrible, oh my god. I'm just gonna keep trying until I do it. This is probably a lot of fun to watch. We're on the final stage again. It gave me pity health back partway through, but I also lost it on the way here on something bullshit, so... And it ign Did you see how many of those inputs it ignored? Like, I was pressing them in perfect time, and on that first round, it ignored half of them, and on the second one, it just gave up on me. Like, that, I know it sounds like excuses, but no, seriously, this is bullshit. No pity health this time. Why? Please tell me this is the last round. This is so much bullshit. <laughs> Why? This is so bad. Oh good, golden pity health this time, I bet it won't help. Okay, last one, got gold health. Please this time, please, come on. This is terrible garbage as opposed to good garbage. You fucking hell, that was garbage! You certainly got some rhythm, Raccoon. But it won't help you none if you're fixing to go after the Panda King. He's tough, with a capital T. You go poking around his stronghold in China, you're likely to get poked back. Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you, I think I'll manage. Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes from my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of Zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Okay, I like how there was a wallet on the end of Sly's fishing rod there, that was cute. Travel plans to China have all been worked out! 
please don't let this be as bullshit as what I've just gone through. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on the Panda Kid. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of western China. So, moral of the story, I guess, because I couldn't actually hear, don't make enemies with people who are proficient in making explosives, maybe? Also, entirely separate thought. Like, I'm not offended by the game, but diegetically, if I lived in that world, I would be offended by how sexist the newspapers are. Because it's just like, Nameless Fox Policewoman captures a criminal, but she doesn't deserve a name even though she caught a fucking criminal. Oh wait, because she's a woman, that's exactly how it would be treated in the real world. This game is woke and it was released in, what, 2002? Thinner ass woke. Okay, what, what's... Poke me, sir. If I didn't hate Ms. Ruby so much, I would say that it sounded downright erotic when she said, Go to China and you may get poked back. Oh dear, I don't even know what the uh, special talent technique thing is that we got from the previous chapter. It doesn't appear to be a triangle thing, so surprise me, sirs. I'm sure we're going to have a like a one-to-one -one intimate rendezvous with Bentley, and he's going to be like, Hey, job or press the circle button and you might disappear. I just tried it then, just on the off chance that was exactly what was what was to be due. Now, what can I use here? The Landmines! I'm... Genuinely surprised that that didn't kill me because I, the, the, the landmines apparently take so much effort just to, 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 to put down. I, I, that, that is just stuck in an animation. You don't get to exist. I've, I've suffered enough this episode. Like bearing in mind, it took me about 26 minutes, and this is probably not even 10 minutes into the episode at this point, which is why I'm taking the time to, to actually do this level now. But yes, it took about, it took nearly half an hour on a rhythm game that doesn't fully like. It didn't register the timings. Would you look at that? A fireworks show! Oh my gosh, that's awful! That poor village just got buried in freezing snow! The rocket came from that giant statue. And you can bet the Panda King lit the fuse. I've got to find my way up there and fast before that lunatic squashes another town. And to add insult to injury, I think I just got an email. What are you going to do about it? But. Yeah, it's really hard to convey just uh, through watching a recording. It looks like, oh no, test, just get good. No, but seriously, the timings of that minigame are so bad. Like, it, it, I can't really convey, as I said, but it's like, because he takes so long to recover from each, like, pose, if your timing is even slightly off, then, like, that makes it sound like it's my fault for not being, like, perfect, but, like, the window of opportunity is so narrow, it's so unforgiving, and just bad. Also, can I make this jump? Because the camera angle is not very helpful. I want to check that email just in case it's something urgent. Like, it's gonna be either someone jo donated to me on Patreon, which I hope for, but I don't expect, or someone from university being like, hey, write some adverts for radio. <laughs> because, yeah, that's a thing that I need to do, but I've got it under control, damn it. I I'm the creative producer. I shall produce creatively. Do you have no faith in me? Plus, am I not entitled to a weekend? Catching up on playing games that I said I would play sooner and then never actually did because... Oh, 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 if we stop and hold circle, then we can cease existing. Oh, we need to press the circle button without jumping. Well, I've, I've learned much, much hooey. And the only reason why I even knew in the first place that, that this was an invisibility power is because of the cutscene itself. Sly, please don't walk off the edge. And not because I could hear anything, because this game doesn't do subtitles. You're welcome for the stuff that I add to this series that makes these episodes even longer to produce. But it's fine, because I want people to understand and appreciate exactly what this game has to be say to be do. Even if that previous boss was a load of hosh. Just a load of hosh. I don't even know what flavor. 
Blow them all. Don't even blow them all up, just blow them all. Yes, Sly, blow. Mm. Thoughts. <laughs> I would say I ship it, but there's no one else there to ship, and unless... Unless me. <laughs> Tess and Sly, what a combination. No further thoughts. I, I'm just going to stop talking, because otherwise people will think questionable thoughts of me. He is cute, though. And appar apparently it's cute the way I find him cute. Yes, hello, Heather. Okay. I'm enjoying this more than I enjoyed the previous chapter, to be fair. Although, to be fair, I, I didn't unlike the previous chapter. It was just the boss was bullshit and the fucking chickens! Fucking chickens! And a third time. Fucking chickens! Okay, well, where whomst? How gee? Ah. That was a helpful series of words that I just made with my face, noise wisely. Squoze sideways so that I can just squoze in my lime, which is a reference to something that happened in high school. And I don't want to remember my high school days because those were a very bad time indeed. And I mentioned, yes I did, at the start of this episode, the, the dream that I had last night. You didn't even see my cane even though it's in the light. You're such bad at secure him. Those were words. Also, I appreciate how Sly actually folds his tail around himself because he knows. He knows the way. He knows the secret of the way to even before. Ooh. Multiple death syndrome. Where you die many times. I wonder if that's an actual thing, though. Like, not dying multiple times, but like a thing called multiple death syndrome. Because it... I mean, it, it could sound like a psychological phenomenon where you're convinced that you died at some point in your life. And it didn't happen. Or... Am I supposed to have all four of all 30 by now? Because I don't. Or am I going to need to come back to this? Yeah, I'm not even half wow. I'm not even half wow. Well, that's fine. I don't even know how much of level there is to level this. I see the bottle up there. Ooh. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't speak English. <laughs> well, at least there are still more bottles to be found, so it's not as if I've just missed a massive swathe of level. In fact, it looks like we're going to... Have to... <laughs> We're gonna need to come back here anyway because this is where the exit is, but we don't have the key yet, so. You can't get through the security gate without one of the Panda King's treasure keys. There's one over there, but it's heavily guarded. One key coming up. See, Bentley, you didn't need to say that. It's sort of obvious. I'll just slice you in the butt. Slicey, slicey. And don't mind me going after every single uh, cane. I mean, I'm using the cane. <laughs> the cane from Citizen Kane. Don't mind me going after every single coin, I just sort of need it, because now I'm just paranoid about dying to everything, even though I would like to say that it's provable enough. I thought I could see an extra life inside this bush, and there isn't. That previous boss was bullshit. I th I'd like to believe that I have the entire Sly Cooper fandom on my side when I say that. Just, like, I remembered the concept, I don't remember how bullshit it was, I just remember seeing... Now, I remember... I've said before, I watched a Let's Play of this game once a, a very long time ago, and I remember the person playing, crying bullshit at that boss, and I I think I remember being cynical, so please, trust me when I say. Wow, the invisibility thing actually works. I didn't think it would work, but it did. Thank you, Egypt. Also, there was just a, a train of thought there where, I was like, mentally, I just sort of devolved into a Melanie Martinez song, just... You don't hear me when I say, Mom, please wake up. Dad's with a slut and your son is smoking cannabis. <laughs> uh, dollhouse. Even though in English they're called dolls houses, plural. Plenty of plurals, because we have to pluralize the plural in order for me to... <laughs> they, plural, are called dolls houses. Singular dolls house. Was that so difficult for me to speak with my leg words? Okay. Did I miss a bottle? Please? I know I'm missing a bottle. Unless I'm not, like that one time in, in the, the yard of the bun goats. There's a bottle missing somewhere, and I don't know where. I've been recording for over half an hour. I was going to get more than one episode recorded today, and that's just not going to happen, because thank you, Ms. Ruby. How dare you. Oh boy, where is the bottle? Is it, is it along the wall? Have I just missed the wall? Okay, I, I do have an anecdote. So these trees, right, they remind me. We have, like, a, a framed picture in our house. We've had it for years. I believe it came from a calendar. And it's of this, like, snowy scene where... There's a load of snow and these weird sort of formations in the snow. And for years, I thought, oh, those are just things that happen in really snowy places. No, it was a load of trees buried in snow and then, like, almost collapsing under the weight of the snow on top of them. And I was worried that I was moving away from the mic. It's all the way from... It's just there! I was worried that I was moving away from the microphone by turning the camera away from Sly. Uh, I am much too empathetic. Okay, let's get the contents of this box and then we can end arse 
episode. What do you got? Yes, I know to press the circle button. What is the code, though? I got a real headache figuring this one out. Input five, seven, eight. You missed out six. <laughs> Truly the greatest song by... Is it? Is it Steps? Is it Steps that did five, six, seven, eight? Well, I don't know. Guilty pleasure as fuck. And we're up to 60%, which apparently includes map completion, so yummity flip. Flip yummily. Yes. This just gets better and better. I'd always heard that one of your southern ancestors, Huckleberry Cooper, developed a technique to move while staying invisible. Hold down the circle button to turn invisible, then move around with the left analog stick. Okay, that is broken as fuck. And also, it'd be so anticlimactic if we got this and then got the page from Ms. Ruby because that- this makes- THIS MAKES THE BOSS I JUST STRUGGLED WITH COMPLETELY REDUNDANT. Also, he goes slow when sneaking, which is fair enough because otherwise this would be broken as shit. Also, you, you can't- yeah, you, you can't jump without breaking visibility unless that's an upgrade from later as well. N knees on my leg beef. That was unnecessarily dramatic just because of how close to the door he was. Anyway, I have been and will continue to be tessellating hexagons, and in the next episode, we will go inside the stronghold, except we're already doing that. Huh, okay, I'll let you see inside the stronghold, but then I will have to say, good boo!